estimation and planning. So by this time, you've got a hang of how to detail your requirements. And it's time for us to talk about estimation and planning. Now, before we go any further, let's understand that estimation and planning are a continuous process. Um, and there are a few reasons why we estimate. We'll talk about that uh, in this particular video. Uh, why do we estimate? And then in subsequent videos, we'll talk about the concept of sizing and then the concepts of planning. So, so let's move on. There are essentially three questions that we are trying to answer with estimation. Firstly, how big is the problem that we are trying to solve or the slice of delivery that we've picked? How fast can we deliver it? And then the third and probably one of the most important plans uh, for the parts of the question triad, which is how risky is our plan? And we try to answer these with three different kinds of tools or practices. So in, on most agile pro projects, uh, we try to answer the how big is it question with relative sizing. And we'll, we'll show you how we do relative sizing. Uh, in, in our case, we'll mostly do it with story points. The second question is how fast can we go? And one of the practices that we will introduce to you in terms of being able to try and answer that question without uh, too many nuances is the velocity game. And then last but not the least, there is the question of how risky is our plan. And we'll try to answer that with the practice of contingency planning. And there are a bunch of things that serve as an input to your eventual contingency planning. Now do remember that we're not talking about something that is really a very, very core BA skill. Facilitating estimation is a core BA skill. Uh, you know, being able to provide a sense of risk uh, is also a core BA skill. But a lot of the planning is a whole team activity and the ownership will rest with the project manager. So do remember that you have allies in this. Um, Richard, do you want to talk about, you know, what, uh, are the, what places estimates serve as an input to? Yeah, I think uh, the whole idea is um, to just talk about it can be an uh, input to the release plan, a normal sprint plan, and, and the status report, uh, which, which basically means that um, if you're creating a rough plan, you need to know roughly how, how big, big it is. Uh, but here, again, I'll be very careful to talk about estimates are not equivalent to, uh, to time, right? And they're just only one of the inputs. Uh, so, so yeah, and then we'll, we'll see how they can be an input uh, to all of these in, in our consequence slides. Yeah, and I think the reason why we underscore that point and highlight that is it's important not to get overwhelmed by the activity of estimation. There are multiple projects which actually function without estimates. And uh, it's, it's worth knowing what value they're providing. If, if it's not providing value, you should consider whether you need estimates in the first place. Right. All right, so in the next video, let's talk about sizing um, and you know, the, the practice of estimation, and then we'll move on subsequently into planning. Should we do that? Yeah.